Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Religion 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a splash screen or the intro credits at the start of your game so that when you load it up, it displays that film, that movie, that short clip, whatever you want before the game actually starts. So what we're going to want to do first is open up our folder directory for our game. So mine is just called Tutorial 2. So you open up the folder, it's wherever you saved it when you first made it, and then go into Contents. And then we're going to want to right click, create new folder, and call it Movies. Now you may have this ready, but if you don't, you're just going to want to make it, open that up, and then just import your splash screen film that you made into there. Now you're going to want to make sure that the file size for it is 1280 by 720, and I've done it at 23 frames a second, or 24. I don't think that matters too much, but you are going to want to make sure that the size is 1280 by 720 at maximum. So once you've got that imported, you're going to want to open Unreal Engine in your game and then go into the project settings. So edit and project settings. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go to the movies tab on the left. And I like to take wait for movies to complete, which means that yeah, you have to finish watching it before the game starts. And then on start at movies, click the plus there to add an element open that up, click the three dots there to choose the file, and then find where you just put that in. So again, the name of your game, content, movies, and then double click on that video to import it like so. And you can just close this and play your game. Now I'm gonna be playing it on another window so that I can actually see the film. And there you go, you may have missed a start because it goes up on my other monitor. I can't change that, but yeah, there you go. Now we can just go in our game and play it like so. And it really is as simple as that. And so that's now done. So we now have a splash screen at the start of our game when we load it up before we can actually play. Now obviously this isn't a great splash screen that I've created. It's just a very simple one to get the point across. It tells you the game studio that made it and the individual person behind it if you're making an indie game like I would be. So I think that'll be it for this video. I've done what I wanted to do. I've made the splash screen video and I put it at the start of the game so that when we first load up our game, it plays that telling you who made the game and any of the details you want and you have to wait for it to finish before you can actually play the game. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.